Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing some selling. I am still sick. This is actually the same day as the last video that I posted. It's just later in the day. I kept the same outfit on, I threw my hair up, I fixed my makeup up a little bit. But as you can tell, maybe my voice is like 10 times worse. It's, it's on its last leg. But like I said before, this is the only day that I can film this entire week. So I just needed to get this finished. And I've been meaning to do this vlog sale for so long and there's a reason that I just decided to do it today because there's one item that I think is so perfect for summer so I don't really want to wait and sell it like in the winter and then I feel like whoever buys it kind of missed out on wearing it this summer so I have five things that I want to sell to you guys I love them all it's just I don't wear any of them and you'll see why some of them you might expect maybe a couple others might be a total surprise the actual last thing that I'm going to show you is a total surprise I really do love it. I, I know that I need to just actually get to the video. Um, but anyway, I'll explain everything as I go along. Super quick logistical things. All of the pricing will be listed down below. I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna be charging for everything yet. I'll try and make the prices extremely reasonable and fair. I'm not gonna be making money on anything. Honestly, I'll probably be losing money on all of this because I want you guys to get a good price and also I'm gonna be taking care of the shipping. Unless you're like ridiculously far away, like internationally, we'll work some Something out together but just check down below for the pricing and then if you are interested in something and as they say like only serious buyers only if you're really interested then please email me at shaywhitney22 at gmail.com and I'm just gonna kind of take it as in like first come first serve whoever sends me the money first is the person that's going to get it I mean don't just send me your money like we'll coordinate it and make sure I agree to it and then send me the money but I unfortunately I just don't think I can hold items for people just because I don't think I'll be great at organizing that so I just kind of want to get it done and I'll get things shipped as soon as possible I am gonna be doing everything through PayPal friends and family if you would rather me do like a full invoice then just add 3% onto the price and we can totally do that but otherwise we'll just do PayPal friends and family all right so I think that is all of the administrative things if you have any questions about anything I'll just have everything listed down below in the description box along with each item obviously so I'm just gonna get started with the first thing and I'm gonna work with the smallest item first and work my way up up to the biggest items. So the first thing that I'm selling is actually my Chanel espadrilles. And I love these shoes. It's it's just, they're too small. I've just determined that they are too small. I've actually worn them two different times, but both times were to my office in a very carpeted area. I didn't even walk outside. I actually carried them in my bag and put them on in the office. So as you can see, the bottoms are completely clean. And then there's actually still the sticker. The sticker still is there. So I did wear these and I tried to make them work but I knew after the second time of me wearing them, they were just a tad too small. So these are size 38. I'm normally a size 38, so I don't I don't know. I, I just think that with the lambskin, I was kind of thinking that they were gonna stretch just a little bit and maybe they would. I'm just scared that they won't and I'll be uncomfortable. And I just wanna make sure that if I'm spending this much money on a pair of shoes, that they fit exactly how I want. If you are interested in these shoes, I still have the box, I still have everything, so just email me. The next item, Item is actually this YSL wallet which is gorgeous it's just over the last year or so I have realized that wallets for me I just prefer miniature wallets so I do have my full-size Louis Vuitton wallet that I love and occasionally I'll use that one but for the most part I use my mini wallets and so I just never use this one I I used it for just a little bit there when I first got it and then I realized that I'd rather just use my mini wallet and I stopped using this because I knew that eventually I was going to sell it and I didn't want any wear on it. So honestly, it looks completely pristine, brand new. Like it looks so good. It is a snap closure and there's a zipper and then there are card slots on either side. There are 12, I'm, I am so sorry about my voice, seriously. It's getting annoying, it's getting worse. There are 12 card slots and then in the back and the front, there's a full slip where you could put like money or receipts or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this is still available online. You could buy it brand new, but obviously if you buy it from me, you'll obviously save some money. I'm not exactly sure how much yet. I'll figure it out. So the next item is something that I really love, but I just want a different version of it. So I am actually going to be selling my Hermes belt. It's in the black and the classic orange. So I really do like this belt. I probably don't wear it that often at all. 
but I still do like it. I just really wish I would have gone for the black and brown version, even though I do really like how this is like classic Hermes orange. It's a little bit different. I think it looks really good in the spring, in the summer, and that is when I did wear it the most. And this is, you know, classic black, of course, but I just, I don't know. I It is an expensive belt, it's Hermes. I just don't wear it enough to justify it, I guess, and I just want a different version. I just want the black and the brown. So I did actually just measure it. It is exactly 37 and a half inches long. Normally, I am always a size 80 when it comes to belts, but I think Hermes is a little bit different with their sizing. So if you're curious if this will fit you, just get like a tape measure or something, and this is 37 and a half inches, and you can kind of see if you think it will fit. The belt does kind of attach a little bit differently. There's no loophole or anything. You just push it directly through whatever button fits you the best, and that's how it is. So if you think that 37 and a half is a little bit short, it there's no like looping it through anything. You just put it on whatever hole fits you the best. This next item will come as no surprise because I've been talking about selling this Gucci wallet on chain for so many months and I've finally just decided I just need to do it. And this is the item that I think looks best in the summer or in the spring. I mean, you can wear it year round. This is, to me, is a classic print, but I don't know, I just love it at, th at this time of the year especially. And the reason that I am selling this is I'm just not a wallet on chain person. I prefer having my mini wallet. I don't really like taking out the cards and the coins and transferring it to this. But nonetheless, this is a wonderful wallet on chain if you're that kind of a person. It obviously has the chain right here, which is detachable, which is awesome. So you can use this as a clutch. I love this Gucci Blooms print. Like seriously, I love it. So I'm very much considering getting a different but very similar Gucci bag because I really do love Gucci and I love, I just love the look of this. I just prefer it in just a little bit bigger of a size. I do think the condition of this is excellent. I don't see any wear on this. There, it is canvas, it's super durable. The inside has so many card slots. There's a section for coins or whatever you wanna keep in the zip compartment. And then you can obviously have a section here like for your cell phone or something. So all in all, like it really is a great wallet on chain. Okay, so luckily we are getting through this video pretty quickly because my voice is really going. And this last bag, I am like, I almost feel like I need to apologize for selling this, which I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even gonna be sad if it doesn't sell. I'm not even positive that I'm actively selling it. So it is my Fendi peekaboo. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It's seriously so, so gorgeous. I actually have the Twilly on it. This is also from Fendi. If I did end up selling it, I would include this Fendi Twilly. But the reason that I'm like really considering selling this is because I just, it's really hard for me to carry this bag. First of all, it's a black bag. And when I carry a large black bag, I am usually reaching for my Chanel Jumbo. Also, I did get this right before the price increase. I think I paid 4,700 something for it and it was like a big deal for me because it was my gift to me for hitting 100,000 subscribers. And then as soon as I purchased it, it bumped up to like 5,000 something. So I did get like a really good deal on the bag, but at the same time, this is such an expensive bag. Like it really is. And so when I use it, it's just so hard for me to like use it. Like I'm just, I baby it. And I don't know, it's weird. I feel like I don't really baby any of my other bags, but this one I really do. And so I just don't enjoy it as much as I had hoped. And for that reason, because I knew in the back of my mind I might be selling it or maybe I'm not, I don't know. I just don't use it that much and the condition, again, is pristine. I mean, literally pristine. And the inside is this gorgeous, gorgeous brown camel color. Like, it really is such a gorgeous bag. And so that's why I'm just like, do I not sell it? I don't even know. I'm just gonna take off this Twilly really quickly so you guys can see what it looks like, just all black. Okay, so the Twilly is off and here's what it looks like. It's kind of like florally and striped on one side, which I love, and then the other side is like a really cool pattern. It's just a striped pattern. And the reason I picked this Twilly is because depending on how you can wrap it, you can get so many different colors, just depending on how tight or loose you wrap it. So out of all the Twillies they offered, this to me was just the very best. But here is just the bag, completely plain. It's actually in the Celeria leather. So normally on a peekaboo bag, the leather is very soft and smooth. This is very soft, but as hopefully you guys can tell, it is a pebbled leather, so it's extremely durable, which is why I went for this version because I knew that I was gonna be spending a lot of money and I wanted it to be very durable. 
Obviously that didn't really stop me from babying it, but um, it's also hand stitched. So there's this beautiful stitching all around it. It's just seriously so pretty. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that there is a little bit more of a, a price difference between this and the regular version. As I expected, looking at it here in the screen, I'm just like, what am I doing? But it just, it just, it really breaks my heart when it sits there on the shelf and I don't use it. It's just such a good bag and such an expensive bag that I would feel in my heart I would just feel better if someone out there was actually using it. Alrighty, so I guess that's everything. I don't have too many things because for the most part, I really do enjoy my collection. I love it. I have other things on my wish list too, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of clean out everything that I just don't really wear ever at all. And I thought this was the perfect time in the summer months where some of these things would work the best. Actually, everything can be worn like all the time. I hope you guys know what I mean though. Also, I'm really sorry about my voice. I know it was really bad, um, but hopefully it's short lived and my voice will come back. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you are seriously considering purchasing something, please email me. Like I said, everything will be listed down below. But otherwise, I think that is it, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.